Today in this session, we are going to discuss about the shadow DOM in your web application. So whenever you are doing the automation using your Selenium, sometimes you will see that your elements are the part of a shadow DOM. Okay. So now for that purpose, let me give you the practical example. Uh, I have taken the example of this uh, web page here. So I will share the link of this page so that you can also make the practice on that. Okay, so now here you can say that, uh, that I want to enter some data on the this text field. Okay, so usually what people do, they simply copy the URL of that one. And now you have to go to the your Selenium automation code. You will simply launch the browser, maximize it, and you will enter the URL here. Okay, and now after that, what you will do, uh, as I told you that our objective is to enter the data in this text field. So you will simply right click and you will uh, inspect on that. Okay. So when you will inspect on that, you will see that you can make a locator for that. Okay. So if you will make a locator, let me uh, try to create a locator for that. So I will make a locator uh, because we don't have any of uh, attribute here other than the type. So we are going to use this one slash slash input. And you can say that I will write at the rate T Y P E equal to, and I will write single code and the value will be uh, T E X T text here. Okay. Now this one. So now, uh, you know that uh, I have written the, uh, you can say proper X path for this particular, you can say text field. That's why you, I'm putting the cursor here. It is highlighting, but when I'm writing the X path, it is not showing that it is correct or not. Okay. So actually it is showing the zero zero means actually it is not able to identify whether it is really a proper locator for an element or not. Okay. And the reason is that if you focus on the page, there is an element that is called shadow root. So my this element, this you can say this text field, this checkbox, whatever you are able to see, let me uh, drag it a little bit down. You can say that under this shadow down, these input text box, check uh, box or file, these or element are under a, uh, you can say element that is called shadow root. So you will see that in your, in your uh, uh, code, in your HTML code, if you are able to see that if any element, any web element uh, or any HTML code, which is appearing under this type of shadow, then uh, you cannot find it directly. So for that purpose, you have to write a, uh, or you have to use a specific function for that. How you can do it? Let me show you. First of all, uh, you can say that uh, in my automation, I have written a code to uh, launch the browser and enter the URL. Now, after that, I will uh, write a code to find an element which is the parent of the, you can say, uh, your shadow. So we can say the parent of this shadow is this one. Okay, this is shadow host. So this element is the parent of the shadow. So we can find this element. We can find this element. Like, let me show you. If you want, we can find that element. Uh, because that is not uh, under a shadow host. So we can easily identify div and we can write, uh, like you can say it is highlighting, at the rate id equal to, you can say that shadow host. So let me copy this double name here and now let me paste. You can see that because this element is not under the uh, shadow. So that's why you are able to identify and it is showing you one of one. So if you can find it. So let it copy and now go to your code and in your code, try to find this element using your driver dot find element function. So I will write driver dot find element and I can write by dot. We can use the X path also, or if you want, we can use the ID also. So anything you can use. So let me write a double code and I will use the X path. Code. Okay. So now I'm going to store this uh, locator in a web element variable. So I will write web element. Okay. And now I will give the name, uh, uh, you can say, uh, I will give the name, let me give the name. Uh, shadow host okay shadow host so now let me give the shadow shadow and i will write underscore hos so now i find an element uh just you can say which is a parent of the you can see your shadow host okay now if you want to find any element under it under the shadow first of all you have to uh take your control to this shadow element within the shadow uh, you can say document or you can say set of down. How you can take it for that purpose, you have to call a function of this element. Whatever element you have taken, then you have a function dot get shadow dot. This is the shadow root. Okay. And the return type of this function is search content. So simply uh, just call this function and now uh, simply store in a, uh, you can say search context. This is the name of the interface, search context, and you can give any name here. 
like you can say shadow host dom i'm just giving the name of name of the variable shadow host root root you can say root or dom or and anything you can give i'm just giving a meaningful name here okay so again tell you what you have to do first of all whenever you are able to see that there you have a uh, shadow root uh, something like that shadow document uh, uh, tag is there or you can say component is there or you can say part is there and you want to find any element under it so you cannot find it directly first of all you have to find the parent of this uh, you can say shadow uh, dom uh, like i find it div uh, shadow host and i have written the code for that okay when you find it the element then you can write shadow uh, uh, host dot get shadow root and it will return the actually using this function it will return the uh, shadow root under this element which you have already get so now i got the control on the shadow root. now in this shadow host root variable you can find the element whatever element you want to find it now we can find the element so we cannot find the element directly i can take the example by dot uh, x path i can write it okay i can write it x path but here i want to tell you one more important thing i will show you that thing also like I'll find it and now I will give the name of the, uh, what I find it. I will try to find it, this one, like test box so that I can show you. I want to enter something. So let me control jet. So this is the, this was the, this was the uh, correct X path for that. But you know that this X path is, uh, I'm not able to find it. So, and that is the drawback here. So if I'm going to write this code here, like you can say, I'll find the shadow host, shadow root element. And from the shadow root, I'm trying to find the element. And then I'm storing in the variable. So let me write it. I will say that input input box. Okay. So if you run this code, what it will do? It will first of all find the shadow host. Then within uh, that shadow host, it will try to switch or you can find the shadow root uh, context here. And from the shadow root, you can find the element within it. But here the main thing is that if you are you finding anything in the shadow root, you cannot find using the X path or something like that. For that purpose, you have to use the CSS selector only. Okay. I can show you that thing also. Like, for example, if I'm using the XPath, you will see that it will show you some error here. Like, example, I'm trying to filter some data here. So, let me write to enter some data here. Like, you can say LORD Lord H A N U M A. Okay. So, if I run it, you will see that it is able to find or not. Let me run the code here. And you will see that it is running the code. Okay. And now, yes. And now you can say, if I go to the console, you will see that you are getting the error. It is saying that invalid argument, invalid locator. Because reason is that I told you, whenever you are using, uh, you can say your shadow root and you are trying to find any element within the shadow root, uh, you should use the CSS selector, CSS selector. Okay. The X path is not going to work here. So I have used CSS selector and now we have to find the CSS selector for this one. Okay. So you can get the CSS selector by your own or you can simply right click on that and say copy and click on copy. This one copy selector. So it will give you the CSS selector. You can paste it. This is the CSS selector. Same we are going to use it here. So now let me paste it here and now you can say that I'm going to run it and see that it is working or not. So I have run the code and now you can say that it will enter the URL and now it will, it has entered the Lord command. Okay. So it means this is the way to handle that. You can say, once you got the control on the, your root, you can find any element which is actually available in this root. Uh, okay. So I can show you another example. Uh, for example, I have find this, uh, you can say this uh, text box and this uh, checkbox is also under the same root. You, you can see that. Under this uh, shadow root, we have this one uh, and we have this text box, we have checkbox. So if you want to find the element, we can find this checkbox also under this, uh, you can say shadow root. So we will make a simply write a, you can say copy and we need to write the selector here, copy. And now we are going to use this selector. Okay. So we don't need to write any code, uh, a specific shadow root because already we are using the shadow root element to find the element. So I will write this code. Let me do one thing copy and I'm going to write the code this one and uh, let me control X and now that I'm going to use in place of CSS selector and now here you can say that I can say that CHK -C -H -H and now you can say that so here you can say that I'm finding the element from this shadow host okay and now after that we can do any operation on that like I'm trying to click on the uh, you can say that checkbox this is so you can say that 
By default, you can say it is not selected. You can refresh the page and see that. So it will enter the data and as well as it will, uh, you can say that, click on the checkbox also, you can see that. So this is this is a simple concept that if you want to find any element in the shadow part, first of all, you have to call the function of a get shadow tool. So you can select it as click on checkbox. And now if you want same thing, you can apply on this one. Like if you want to input file, you can uh, apply the same thing here, okay? So now uh, you can say, I hope you got understanding of the, you can say what is, uh, you can say how you can handle the shadow uh, uh, element which are under the shadow. And uh, you can say, uh, I, in the future, I'm going to share a more example for that. But if you like the video, you can click on the like button. And uh, if you have not subscribed my channel till now, you can subscribe it. Thank you.